wanted to show an Android app that reads a raw text file, a text file in the raw resources, sort of one line at a time, line by line. The code for this app can be found at the URL scene. Okay, so it's got a very simple layout. It's just got a button and a text view. And as you click the button, it's going to read one line and display it, and then the next line and display it. And so it's going to be directed by the user and event, event driven. I, each time the user clicks the button, read a line and display it, and then try to end gracefully, sort of when there are no more lines to be read, sort of stop, stop the user from continuing. So here's the button. The button is sort of enabled, if you will, and you, here's the line one line it has this information about dogs and it's reading it one line at a time there are 10 dogs so third dog fourth dog fifth dog sixth dog seventh dog eighth dog ninth dog tenth dog and then i think that's it there it is no more lines and now the button is no longer can be clicked so again the layout was just simply that button and text view that you saw. And there is a raw resource with this dog data. So there was the file I was reading. And again, to have a raw resource, when you open Android Studio and make a sort of a hello world project, it has the resource folder with drawable layout, mip map, and values, but it does not have this raw uh, subdirectory. So you need to right click and say new directory and then say raw in small letters to be within the naming scheme. And then I had this dog data file out in my file system and I copied it and I right clicked on raw and pasted it in there and obeyed again the naming scheme of small letters underscores and numbers are allowed. And then I'm going to, so that those are my resources, the layout and the raw. Now I'll move over to main activity to read this file line by line. So here I am connecting the, uh, re, the layout button to a code button and same thing for text view, the next line to so make a code version of what's over in the layout. Here is, the setting up the input stream for that uh, dog data file. So it is, we're going to the resources, we're going to open raw resource, and it was r.raw.dogdata. And then we're setting up, um, previously when we read files, we read them all at once, but now we are setting up a buffered reader and this is going to allow us to do sort of line by line work. So, so from input stream to buffered reader. So now here is the button click event, button read line set on click listener. And you have to uh, override a method, the click method, but we're doing the the version of that where you don't see the name of the method we're overwriting. And so it's sort of a bit more anonymous, if you will. And so we're going to, uh, you saw that I have, a, I put it in a try catch, but uh, this toast never arose. So we're, we're never in the catch part of the try. So it, it ended gracefully enough that we didn't have to uh, get to the toast. But there is a read line, a buffered reader has a method read line and that reads, as the name suggests, reads one line. And then we're asking that if that next line is not null, so if we manage to read something, then we are going to display that line in the text view. So text view, you can, there's sometimes you can use set text or sometimes you can say text equals. And so if the, so use read line to get the next line, if that line is not null, display it. Otherwise display the text, no more lines. 
make the button is enabled equal false and we decided to close close the buffer. The catch, which never arose, was just saying there was some problem reading the file in case it was not a text file. Maybe you maybe put an image file in there by mistake or something like that. And um, that's it. We're at the end of the program I wanted to show you. Thank you.